EDI 856 is the Advanced Shipping Notice, also known as the ASN. This document lets your trading partner know in advance that you have shipped the items and provides a delivery time frame. Before sending an 856, you'll have to complete four criteria. These four criteria can be viewed on the EDI dashboard and are labeled as urgent action required. The first thing you'll need is an SSCC number. SSCC stands for Serial Shipping Container Code. This label, when scanned, conveys the contents of the shipment to the warehouse team of your trading partner. You can generate an SSCC number from within the sales order by clicking on Generate SSCC Number. Alternatively, you can do this from the EDI dashboard. To begin, click the Customer PO Number. Next, click on Update All and select Single Carton. This will automatically update the SSCC number within the sales order. If you would like to cartonize instead, this will be covered in a separate video. Next we'll move on to the dispatch column. The sales order will need to be fully dispatched. This means the quantity dispatch field is filled in for each line item and a fully dispatched date is entered. Once again, you can either do this from within the sales order, or from the EDI dashboard by clicking on the bulk dispatch button. Next, is carrier. This will be the company delivering your goods. You can enter the carrier from within the sales order by using the carrier field here. Or this can be done from the EDI dashboard using the carrier field here. Last but not least is tracking code. This can also be entered within the sales order by using the tracking code field here. Or in the EDI dashboard by clicking on update all and then enter the tracking code. Once you finish making changes, click the save button and as you can see the next action has changed. Because we have met the full criteria, we now have the option to send the ASN. This can be done by clicking the checkbox and then clicking on the save button. As you can see, the action has been changed to ASN scheduled. Now let's head over to our integration dashboard. On the integration dashboard, you'll see a new item within your export window. This is the 856, also known as the ASN. To send the ASN to your trading partner, you can either click on the export button here, or if you have several ASNs to send, you can send all of them at the same time by clicking on the export all button. Now that the ASN has been sent to our trading partner, let's go back to the integration dashboard and refresh the page. As you can see, the export list is now empty. Once the trading partner has received the 856, they will send an acknowledgement file which will appear in the import window here. If we have a look at our EDI dashboard again, we can see that the action has changed to ASN awaiting acknowledgement. Once again, this means we're waiting on our trading partner to acknowledge that they received the ASN.